synthetic fibers and plastics. Clothes are made up of fabrics. The fabrics are made from fibers obtained from natural or artificial sources. Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. The plant fibers are cotton, jute, coir, flax, etc. The animal fibers are wool and silk. The fibers so obtained are spun into yarn and then woven and knitted into fabric which is used to make clothes for us. Natural fibers are good for hot weather by absorbing perspiration and releasing it into the air. These fibers are biodegradable or easily decomposed by the action of microorganisms. However, scientists have produced some artificial fibers and plastics by applying the knowledge of chemistry. On the basis of their origin, these artificial fibers are called synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. Synthetic fibers A synthetic fiber is a chain of small units joined together. Each small unit is actually a chemical substance. Many such small units combine to form a large single unit called a polymer. The word polymer comes from two Greek words, poly meaning many and mer meaning part or unit. So, a polymer is made of many repeating units called monomers. The process of combining monomer units into a large polymer is called polymerization. Monomers are either linked in a linear fashion or in a cross-linked fashion to form polymer. All synthetic fibers are made of polymers that are not found in nature. They are produced by chemical industries using chemicals or using the raw materials from petroleum. Such raw materials which come from petroleum are called petrochemicals. Types of synthetic fibers Nowadays, there are a variety of synthetic fabrics made of different fibers are available in the market. Some important ones among them are rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic etc. Rayon Rayon or artificial silk was discovered towards the end of the 19th century. It was made by chemical treatment of wood pulp and was the first synthetic fiber. It is cheaper than silk and can be woven like silk fibers. It can be dyed in a wide variety of colors. It can be mixed with cotton to make bed linen whereas when mixed with wool it is used to make carpets. It is also used to make fabrics for shirts, ties, etc. Rayon fibers are widely used semi-synthetic fibers derived from cellulose. These are available in three different varieties that is viscose, cupro and acetate rayon. Rayon is shiny and lustrous and it can absorb moisture too. Because of the property of absorbing moisture, clothes made of rayon can absorb heat and therefore preferred over clothes made of other synthetic fibers. Rayon is similar to silk but is cheaper than it. Hence, rayon is also called poor man's silk. Nylon Nylon was first made in 1931 from coal, water and air. It was actually the first totally man-made synthetic fiber without using any plant or animal source. Nylon is one of the most elastic synthetic fabric which does not lose strength even after repeated use. The chemical reactions required to create nylon are carried out in a specially designed machine at very high temperature. The molten semi-liquid nylon is then forced into a spinneret which separates nylon into very thin strands of fibers. The fibers are then spun through a spinning wheel into yarn which is turned in woven into fabrics. Tighter the weave, the more strength the nylon fabric will have. This procedure is actually performed to make all varieties of synthetic fibers. Since nylon is strong, elastic, lightweight, lustrous and easy to wash, it is extensively used to make clothes, socks, ropes, tents, parachutes and a wide variety of articles. When nylon stockings were introduced, they were in great demand. But most of the nylon production was diverted to the manufacture of parachutes at the time of World War II from 1939 to 1945. Polyester 
Polyester is another synthetic fiber which is wrinkle resistant. It is strong, lightweight and elastic. Clothes made from polyester fabrics have excellent wash and wear characteristics and therefore require minimum care. Some popular polyester fabrics are Terylene and Dacron are the most common varieties of this class of synthetic fibers which are mixed with natural fibers to enhance their properties. Terracot, a blend of terylene and cotton, is commonly used for making dress materials, shirts, skirts, etc. Terry wool, a blend of terylene and wool, have amazing properties. It is a fabric type used to make suit lengths. Terry silk, a blend of terylene and silk, is a cheaper version of silk and is used to make saris, dress materials, etc. Polyester, as the name indicates, is made up of many ester units which may be synthesized from petroleum products. We often hear about PET bottles or PET jars used in the kitchen for the storage of water or other things. PET, polyethylene teriflate, is actually a polyester used for making utensils, wires, film rolls, umbrella and many other useful products. Acrylic Acrylic fiber, a substitute for natural wool, is dissolved in suitable solvents and the solution is forced through spinnerets to form the filaments which are spun into yarns. The wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive, while acrylic offers a relatively cheap option which is available in a variety of colors and is more durable. It is also not affected by moisture, bacteria or chemicals easily. Acrylic fibers are warm, soft, light, flexible and are also known as Orlon or Acrylon. They are easily knitted to make sweaters, shawls, socks, etc. Spandex Spandex, also known as Lycra, is a long-chain synthetic polymeric fiber. It is soft and rubber-like and allows the fiber to stretch a lot and then recover its original shape. The high elasticity of the fabric made from these fibers is suitable for making clothes which require a body-hugging fit like swimming costumes, undergarments, shirts, etc. Advantages of Synthetic Fibers The fibers have high tensile strength, a property due to which they withstand heavy loads without breaking. The fibers have elasticity, a property by which they regain their original shape after stretching or compression. The fabrics made from polyester and nylon are easier to maintain as they retain the pleats and folds even after washing as they are set by application of heat. The production of synthetic fibers is independent of agricultural crops and animal farming. The fibers are not affected by the action of chemicals, moisture and bacteria easily. The fibers are comparatively low cost as compared to natural fibers. These fibers are not only used for making clothes but they have diverse uses ranging from utensils, curtains, upholstery, furniture, mops, mats, parachutes, aeroplane tires, toys and many other things. The textile industry is one of the major uses of synthetic fibers. The synthetic fibers are blended with natural fibers in different proportions to enhance its properties. For example, terylene is blended with cotton, silk and wool to form terracot, terisilk and terivool respectively. The blended material has the ability to absorb sweat, so it is more comfortable and has more durability. Disadvantages of Synthetic Fibers The disadvantage of synthetic fibers are Synthetic fibers repel moisture or sweat. In other words, they do not allow our skin to breathe. Not only are they uncomfortable, but they also have negative health effects as our body uses the skin to eliminate toxins through sweat. These fibers melt on burning. As a result, the clothes made of such fibers melt and stick to the skin in case of fire and cause heavy burns. They also need careful ironing. They accumulate electric charge in them 
As a result, they cling together and stick to the skin, causing irritation. Your hair stands straight after coming with a nylon comb vigorously due to the electric charge in the comb. Plastics There must be many things around you which are made of plastic. For example, plastic chair, bucket, mug, your toothbrush, pencil box, tiffin box, scale, many of your toys and the list goes on. Plastics are polymers like synthetic fibers. All plastics do not have the same type of arrangement of units. In some it is linear whereas in others it is cross-linked. The only difference between the two is in the nature of monomer units they are made of. For example, polyethylene, a plastic used to make polythene bags, is a polymer of monomer called ethane. They are easily moldable, that is, they can be shaped in different forms. They can be melted, colored, recycled, reused, rolled into sheets and drawn into wires. Plastics are classified as thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics on the basis of their reaction to heat. Properties of Plastics Some important properties of plastics which make them popular are Plastics are non-reactive. Since plastics are insoluble in water and are not attacked by chemicals under normal conditions, they are ideal substitutes for metals, glass and wood. Unlike metals, they do not corrode easily, but are heat sensitive and melt upon heating. Plastics are strong, lightweight and durable. Since plastics are strong, lightweight, durable and can be molded into various shapes and sizes, they are used to make different household articles and industrial products. They are also used to make car, aircraft and spacecraft parts. They are cheaper and weigh lesser than their metallic counterparts. Plastics do not show thermal conductivity. Plastics and other synthetic polymers are generally bad conductors of heat. They allow very little or no heat to pass through them. That is why they are used to make handles of electric irons, heating pans and many other things. Plastics do not show electrical conductivity. Synthetic polymers like plastics are generally insulators or bad conductors of electric current. Plastics have plasticity. Plasticity is a property which makes the plastic moldable. Thermoplastics are the plastics which melt or become soft on heating and harden when cooled. They retain their plasticity even after repeated heating and cooling. Polythene and PVC are examples of thermoplastics. They are used to make bags, toys, etc. Thermosetting plastics or thermosets, on the other hand, are the plastics which when molded once cannot be softened on heating. The two most popular examples of thermosets are Bakelite and Melamine. Bakelite is an insulator and is used to make electrical switches and handles of various utensils. Melamine has fire-resistant and heat-resistant properties and is used to make floor tiles, kitchenware and fire-resistant fabrics. Plastics and the Environment a material is termed biodegradable if it is decomposed over a period of time by the action of air, water and microorganisms such as bacteria. Non-biodegradable materials on the other hand cannot be easily decomposed by natural processes. Effects of excessive use of plastics These are various harmful effects of excessive use of plastics. Most of the plastic waste ends up floating in the nearby water body and becomes a home for many disease-causing germs. Burning plastic waste is also not a very good option as it does not get completely burned. Moreover, burning of plastic releases many toxic gases and pollutes the environment and causes health hazard. If plastic waste is buried in the soil, it remains there for a long time and does not allow rainwater to seep through the ground. Plants growing in that area do not get sufficient supply of water and their growth is affected. You must have seen cattle eating garbage. In this process, they also swallow polythene bags or wrappers lying there. 
the plastic material causes serious problem to the animals as it chokes their respiratory system and becomes the cause of their death. Carelessly throwing polythene bags, chips and biscuit wrappers on the roads, picnic spots and parks are sometimes responsible for the closing of drainage system. Ways to reduce plastic use As a responsible citizen, remember the 5R principle. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover and refuse. Develop habits which are environment friendly. Reducing plastic waste and recycling it whenever possible are the two efficient solutions to this problem. Plastic bags can be replaced by cotton or jute bags which are reusable and biodegradable. As a result, the use of plastic bags can be avoided. We can reduce the use of plastic containers for the storing food and other items and use more durable materials like metal. Avoid using takeaway food containers. Use discarded bottles and jars to store food items and water. Reuse the plastic bags whenever possible, keeping safety and hygiene in mind. Use broken artifacts and create something new with our own creativity. Example, discarded water bottles can be used as containers. Give the old plastic chairs and jars to the needy or for a recycle and support the cause by using recycled items. Use recyclable plastic bags whenever possible. Recycling of plastic involves collecting, sorting and processing. To support this, the municipal corporation has made available green and blue bins for collection of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste respectively. It is the duty of every responsible citizen to help the local bodies to keep public places clean and free of plastic.